let's go. What's new on YouTube? MSC is number one fan here. And today we're previewing, previewing for, or Indiana's football uh, schedule. Like, comment, subscribe, and who would you like to see next? Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so the first game is that Wisconsin. Like, comment, subscribe. So our first game is on the road. September 4th at Wisconsin. I'm going to give you guys a win there because Wisconsin was in Jordan Taylor. I don't think Davis probably didn't have enough time to replace him. Western Kentucky should be a win. Or, I'm, I'm sure Mark, that was a loss. Sorry about that. Sweet. You're, you're one and one. Bar State should be a win. Connecticut should be a win. Maryland, Rutgers, and Michigan State. Three straight losses. So you're one and four. Penn State and Ohio State, you guys should win. So you're looking at three and four. Illinois should be a loss, Michigan should be a win, and Purdue should be a loss. Now, I'm going to go through and get into more depth why I think you guys will not do as well. You know, don't have the talent for returning back. Okay, so let me think here. Actually, yeah, you do win at Wisconsin, at home against Western Kentucky, Ball State, and Connecticut. So you're making 4 0. You're 4 and 3 after that loss to Michigan State. Oh, wait, you're 6 and 3. E. 6 and 3. 7 and 5 by having you guys going. And one of the main reasons. Is that, um, I think, I'm going to talk like this off camera now. The reasons why I think is simply because Indiana has not been pretty productive. Now, last year, they almost beat Michigan. If they held them. Home then to a couple of scores. Um, the reason why this is the last thing that I normally use is just because of um, uploading issues I'm having with the other device. We figured that out. Uh, who should I do next as a football team? Like the video, subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications. Vacations. Then like, comment. Maybe I have to call. Leave your comments below, though. I know. I have Rutgers. You guys losing to Rutgers in Maryland. I think, I think they'll be great this year. New coach Rutgers will do great. Michigan State should do great. Ohio State and Penn State in Michigan. What? And for the West, I hope it's four games in a row. Okay, we're going to start with the Maryland game first to talk about. Uh, Maryland has done next to nothing since they have been Just put this way, they average three. Between one to three wins a season. And that is it. That is not your typical program. I mean, they were in the ACC before they came to the Big Ten. In my opinion, they take out Notre Dame, or they take out Rutgers in Maryland. And they have Appalachian State, who's beaten Michigan. And they bring in Notre Dame. Because I can see Notre Dame beating Ohio State 59 nothing. Let's talk about Rutgers next. 
the Rutgers game should be very interesting, so I think I was thinking I think Rutgers do some great things this year for the Big Ten. If neither of Rutgers and Maryland does things for the Big Ten this year, I think they're up. Like I said in a couple minutes. A couple of minutes ago, I have to say, okay, put Notre Dame on our list and put Appalachian State on. Now, they do not have to play Nebraska. They do not have to play Iowa. And last year, it was rough. I mean, 8-4? It's better than 5-7, and seven, but, I mean, come on. I would love to see Indiana win 10 games, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Let's talk about oh, Penn State. I do believe they play next. Penn State. I don't think Penn State will do very good this year. Good this year. The offensive side of the ball or, or the defensive side of the ball. You lose key players in key spots. Now the question is, with them going on the road to Virginia Tech, I do believe it is, they could, if Penn State screws that game up, and Ohio State loses to Oregon, Maryland, Rutgers, and Indiana, every team in the Big Ten East, all the teams has a shot to win it, put it that way, except except Ohio State, because they're not going to be that talented this year. I mean, you lose Chase Young on the defensive side. You lose J.K. Dobbins. You lose a couple of the receivers. I can't remember their names. But they mean, but yeah, and Justin Fields. But I watched him in the rest of the Penn State game, Michigan, Big Ten, and the Pleasant. He did not look 100% at all. So if they can keep him decently healthy, I think he'll be pretty good. Now, let's talk about the Illinois game. Illinois is going to be one of those teams that say, we have not been to a bowl game since 2011, I do believe it is. They will be in the mix for the Big Ten title. Uh, Michigan. I have you guys beating Michigan at home because Michigan's not going to do that good this year either. They're losing a lot of talent. If you, if you really think about it, it's going to be probably the last mm-hmm. quarter of the game. Uh, ignore that in the background, too. Will you please? Thank you. Oh, like, comment, subscribe. Now, let's talk about Purdue. The Old golden bucket. Is that correct? Let me know if I that that should be correct. Correct. Um that game could be turned in. Let's say Michigan State is eleven and zero. Indiana's eleven ten and one. Michigan State loses that game. Indiana wins. Purdue loses. But Purdue's ten and two. Every team in the big, a lot of teams in the big, they're going to go bowling, regardless of what happened. But I don't have Penn State going to a bowl. I don't have Ohio State going. I don't have, um, now Minnesota is probably going to be a Big Ten competitor. I don't have Northwestern going the same, they're going to be the same three and nine than they were last year. Uh, like... Like this video, comment, like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day. And I can't wait to drive this dumb quarantine.